Hey, this is Subspace Transmissions. I'm Tyler. And I'm Cam. Cam, this week on the podcast, we are tackling uh, Discovery, kind of a mid-season report card is what we want to give it. And the fun thing that we did is we actually tackled the first nine episodes of every other Star Trek series and kind of compared them as a whole, how they shape up versus Star Trek Discovery's first nine. We had a lot of fun with that. Why don't we give like a bit of a mini-sode here and talk mm-hmm. about Star Trek The Next Generation's first nine. Was right. it all just gold, solid gold coming out of early the Star Trek The Next Generation? I mean, they had a vision and they achieved it yeah. in those first nine. But the Traveler, man, that's all I need to hear. So. Uh, in all seriousness, though, yeah. let's tackle this. Let's yeah. talk about how uh, maybe Discovery stacks up versus The Next Generation. Because From- a lot of fans have really complained a lot about Discovery being really bad out of the gate. I, I read it a lot online about people being like, these episodes are terrible. And I think it's interesting. There's a lot of uh, rewriting history, I think, in these discussions. Because when you go back and actually look on paper at you know the first nine hours of Next Generation, maybe not as good. Well, okay. I mean, let, let's think about it. We have uh, Encounter at Fire Point, uh, yeah. Code of Honor, Justice, The Naked yeah. Now. You're all-time favorites. Of course, there. the battle. Yeah, uh, so it, it, it's not, or, or the last outpost, the introduction of the uh, Ferengis with their laser whips. Yeah, where no one has gone before, as you said with the Traveler. Yeah, like, when you... Are, look, are, are these outstanding episodes of Star Trek? When you look at the first nine hours of TNG, is there an episode that you would put on par you know, writing or direction-wise with, like, Magic to make the San- Sanus Man go mad? No, not at all. I think that's yeah. very easy for me to say. I think seeing, or Magic uh, to make the Sanus Man go mad is actually one of the best highlights that you have out of early Star Trek episodes. Yeah. We're getting this, you know, at episode 7 in the series run. Yeah. If they can, like, achieve this so early on where Star Trek obviously struggles early on in its, its seasons, I think we're going to actually have a lot more, you know, big winners coming out of the gate here. And you have to watch one episode... <laughs> On a loop for a whole day. What episode is it? I, honestly, it's kind of easy. I, I think it'd have to be Encounter at Firepoint. What about you? Is it because it's two hours and it's, the loop <laughs> won't feel quite as painful? Yeah, probably. No, but you know, there's enough world building, character introductions. It's uh, just kind of... You got Q in there. Right. I mean, there's really... All, all the stuff going on at Firepoint is pretty dumb, especially yeah. with the apples. Right. But... That whole climax of the exploding, like, city is just brutal. Yeah. Just awful to watch. But there's enough kind of yeah. curiosity sort of things going on that I, I can't I can handle. What, what about you, Cam? I'm torn between Farpoint and Justice. Justice? No. I, I'll tell you why it can't be Justice, though. Is it the second half? It's yeah. the second half. Yeah. The, the first half is outstandingly hilarious, right. Yes. but the second half is a slog. What about The Naked Now? Uh, is The Naked Now maybe more fun? Uh, because it's like uh, the hour of it is fairly consistent. I, I, it's, it's more digestible than, say, Justice yeah. because of that consistency. I would still take Encounter at Farpoint, though. Well, it's definitely the uh, the more highbrow choice. <laughs> of course, of yeah. course, yeah. So overall, I, I think what we want to say, though, is we're quite impressed by what Star Trek Discovery has accomplished yeah. so far, so early on. I know a lot of fans, well, can I be honest, I think a lot of fans will just hate new Star Trek no matter what it is. I think they just want... Say what? Well, a lot of people just want to have a, a complete continuation of Star Trek The Next Generation, where they... Right. You get back on the old Enterprise D. That B fours at the helm. B fours at the helm. You know, <laughs> uh, Riker's been demoted from captain of the Titan back to commander. Yeah. You know, not no movement with any of the characters. Worf is there for some reason. Like, Who knows really why? Know why? Yeah. yeah. Discovery has started better. So I'm not going to say it's going to be better than TNG. I would never ever say that because who knows? But it's on a good track, and I think you know, who knows? It can really. If it goes up, it could be great. If it stays the same, it'll be good. Yeah. So I think, you know, Discovery's in a good place, and it's going to be exciting to see where it goes. Worst comes to worst, we'll uh, follow up with our reviews of the first nine episodes of the animated series and see how that sacks up versus Ooh. Discovery.